Hey everyone, so today uh, we're doing a longer haircut, especially uh, a layered haircut for men. This could be really for women too, but uh, what we're doing is creating a longer hairstyle with some layers. The trends have been, you know, guys are starting to wear their hair a bit longer. They want some shape to it. So this is a great haircut for someone who wants to have some length, wants to keep it modern, uh, a bit more of a grungy type of look, you know, some volume to it. And, uh, and it's, it's something that, you know, <clears throat> will never go out of style. What I'm doing now is I'm literally creating the face frame. And this is essential for somebody, if you don't want your hair just to just hang straight down into your face, you need to create some sort of angle. And what I'm doing, as you can see, is I'm working on a shape that's going from shorter uh, right below the lip area down into the length. And you have to make that connection. I would highly suggest going to a hairstylist for this, uh, not necessarily a barber, unless that barber really has a proven track record of, of layering hair, working with even women's hair, and understanding how to create shape on longer hair. So here, I'm going to be layering right at the back. So layers is really a technique, or layering is a technique that's going to remove weight, but also give you some movement and some volume so the hair isn't so heavy. So what I'm doing now is I'm just literally creating and establishing my guide. Now, the key here is if you keep the hair longer or you cut the layers longer, then obviously, you know, it's going to be a little bit heavier. The shorter the layers, the more it's going to have more volume and a lot more lift to the hair. However, you have to be careful because if it's unbalanced, meaning if you go and get your hair cut and the person cutting your hair cuts it way too short on top, but leaves the length really long, it's going to look really, really way too feathered, very outdated. Unless that's something you're going for, then that's one thing. But if you want to have more of a, you know, medium length kind of or longer layered haircut, you have to make sure that, you know, you're not cutting those layers too short. So just to express to the person who's cutting your hair, like right in this area that I'm cutting right now, just make sure you tell them that you don't want the layers too short. You can even hold your hair up and say, I want it this long. But they also need to explain to you that, you know, in order to have a balanced layered haircut, it has to be a certain length on top, right? And um, I would just be careful that it's not like too short, you know, it's not too short. I would just, uh, I would just make sure that, you know, everything is a good length so it's, it's blended and balanced. So here I'm just cutting everything horizontally I'm um, cutting every, I'm holding the hair straight up, cutting it horizontally because now I've got my guide and now it's just a matter of following the head shape and creating. As we get to the front, you'll see there's less hair that needs to come off because we created that angle. So my philosophy with hair cutting is always work in the top, the corners, and the sides. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm working throughout the middle section now, the corners and then the actual sides. And I found that it, it really helps keep you a lot more balanced. It help, helps keep the haircut uh, very even. And it, this technique to me just grows out the best. You know, I'm not trying to create any sort of weird square shapes or triangular shapes, or I'm just literally following the way the hair naturally grows from the head. Because as it grows out, that's the way it's gonna grow. So I would suggest using maybe Tidal Wave uh, 25 spray to style it. Uh, you can use your hands with the blow dryer. And as you can see with here, it gives a very solid type of foundation and a solid base. I spent a lot of time working on the base into the bottom here. And that's the whole key to the haircut, especially if you have thicker hair. You wanna make sure you have a solid foundation, but the way I cut it, you can see how long that is and look how it springs up. So if you're somebody who's got like a calic in the front or a swirl, you need to make sure that piece that I'm holding right there is on the longer side because it's going to spring up and it looks a lot shorter. Let me know in the comments below if you've had somebody cut your hair and they actually cut that front piece way too short and then everything becomes unbalanced. So you have to, this area in through here, it should match up to the front, right? Or have the front slightly longer, but it shouldn't be really, really short in the back here and really long in the front, right? You need to make sure that the layers all work in and blend into each other. As far as a finishing product, you know, you, you may not even need anything. You can maybe use a little of the matte, the crafted matte pomade. 
Uh, but right now, I, I'm just really showcasing that everything was brought out straight from the head, uh, cut in a m manner that's going to follow the head shape. It's going to grow out well, and uh, that's it. So let me know if you enjoy this. Use code YouTube20 for 20% off at shop.theslanga.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.